Hello, in this problem we're going to evaluate this limit. So we're taking the limit as w approaches one of this here. The first thing you should always try to do when evaluating limits is to take this number and plug it in. If we do that, you're going to notice that there's a problem. If we plug it in here, we get one minus one, which is zero. Likewise here, it's one minus one, which is zero. So we end up with one over zero minus one over zero. We can never have zero on the bottom, so that will not work. This means we need to try something else, and that something else is going to be subtracting. So in order to subtract these, we need to find a common denominator. You'll notice here that the bottom is w squared minus w, so we can factor out a w. So this is one over w, parentheses, w, minus 1, parentheses, and this is minus 1 over w minus 1. And so now we can perform the subtraction, but we first need to find a common denominator. So it looks like we're missing a w here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by w over w. We're basically multiplying by 1 in a clever way so that we've created a common denominator. Let's go ahead and clean it up. So this is the limit. As w approaches 1 of 1 over w, parentheses, w minus 1, minus, and this is w over w, w minus 1, parentheses, parentheses. Make sure not to cancel. That's a really common mistake. I've, I've seen people do that. They do all of this work and then they cancel and they end up where they started. It's like, no, <laughs> let's keep going. So this is the limit as W approaches one. And now we can subtract because the denominators are the same, right? This is the same as this. We can perform the subtraction. So we just subtract the numerators, one minus W, and it's all over w, parentheses, w minus 1. And now we're going to use a very powerful technique. This is the limit as w approaches 1. What we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative 1 from the numerator like this. Because when we do that, let's see, negative 1 times what is going to give us negative w? Well, w. Negative 1 times what is going to give us a positive 1? Well, negative 1. Again, negative 1 times w is negative w. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. It's all being divided by w, w minus 1. And that's exactly what we wanted to do because we want them to cancel, so this is the limit. As w approaches 1, of negative 1 over w. And now we've reached the point where we can actually evaluate the limits. In other words, we can take this number and plug it in. When we do that, we drop the limit sign. So this is negative 1 over 1, which is simply negative 1. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.